Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it has been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube. Yeah, like I, it's been so long that I feel so awkward filming right now. I don't even know what to say. But, um, yeah, it's been almost about five months since I've uploaded my last YouTube video. Um, hopefully I will get into depth of why I stopped filming, um, in this video. Um, if you didn't tell by the title already, obviously this video is going to be a QA. and a Um, I've never done a QA and a before and also in my last video that I uploaded, I said that I would do a QA. and a That way you guys could get to... Like I was saying, in my last video I said that I would do a Q&A. That way you guys could get to know me better because I feel like you don't really know much about me. Um, so I wanted you guys to get to know me better and also um, I feel like it's a little easier to get back into the groove of things um, with a Q&A as opposed to starting a YouTube. I mean, as opposed to doing a makeup tutorial because I haven't done one in a really, 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 really long time. Um... So I feel like this was just a little easier to do. So yeah, I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions that you guys have asked me in the past or previously or just stuff that I thought you might want to know. I don't know. <laughs> I just threw a few questions in there. Um, but yeah, so I don't want to talk too long in the intro because I feel like this video is going to be super, super long anyways. So let's just get into it. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. First question is my full name. So my full name is Julia Elizabeth Romero. Um, I honestly don't go by Julia too often. Everybody in my family and like my friends all call me Julie. So when someone calls me Julia, I'm just like, who, who is that? Um, I'd rather be called Julie than Julia just because I'm so used to it. Honestly, the only time they call me Julia is at school. Um, and at work only when I'm dealing with clients and I introduce myself because even my coworkers and managers, they don't even call me Julia. So I honestly just go by Julie most of the time. All right. So second question is how old are you? So I am 21. My birthday is July 23rd, 1996. I'm a Leo. <laughs> so obviously I'm a summer baby. I'm not going to say next third fourth fifth question because that's a little too much i'm not gonna keep track all right all right so next question is what nationality are you um i'm american i was born here but my parents are from paraguay um but when someone says what nationality are you i just say paraguayan i don't say american but to be technical i am american um but i am 100 percent Amer paraguayan american <laughs> um how many languages do you speak? Okay, so I speak two languages, obviously English and Spanish, um, but I understand three, which is obviously English and Spanish. And then in Paraguay, we have a native language called Guarani. Um, my parents speak it, they are always speaking it in the house, so I understand it, but I cannot speak it. Um, it's a really, really hard language to um, speak if you weren't like, I mean, I grew up like hearing it, but I just never spoke it. My parents never really taught me how to speak it. So I kind of learned as I got older. Um, so yeah, I wish I could speak it. I can say a couple words and I can count, but that's about it, which sucks because I have a lot of Paraguayan friends who can speak Guarani and it's like, why can't I speak it? But yeah, so I speak two, but I understand three. All right, um, next question. What's your favorite color? If you know me, you know that I love um, white and gold. Anything white and gold, I am obsessed with. I love it. Also, I don't know if this is this considered a color, but I love marble. Like, like my straightener is marble. I love marble too. Marble, I find marble so chic. Like I just love it. White, gold, and marble <laughs> is my obsession. I've also been really into like baby light pink lately, which is kind of weird. Um, I never used to really like pink, but slowly I'm starting to like pink, and I'm just like, ooh. Okay. 
Next question is, why did you start YouTube? Um, I feel like I've answered this before, but keep it nice and short and simple. Um, I kind of, I've been watching YouTube my literally my whole entire life. Okay, let me not. I'm exaggerating. I've been watching YouTube since I was like about 14 and I was watching like, you, um, what's it called? Makeup tutorials and all that. And I've always wanted to start one, but I was just super, super shy and I didn't know how to do it. And I just, I didn't have all the equipment to do it. I mean, like I didn't have the money to buy the equipment. Um, so once I started working and making my own money, that's when I slowly started to purchase stuff like cameras and lights and all that. Um, but before I even bought everything, um, I mean, when I had everything, it still took me a while to film a video because, I mean, it's pretty nerve-wracking. You're talking to a camera in your room by yourself. It's kind of awkward, honestly. But I started it because I really wanted to have a hobby and have something that I'm really passionate about. And I love makeup. I want a career in makeup, um, or at least in the beauty industry. So I felt like YouTube was the right path for me and I also just wanted to share my creativity with people out there. Even if like two people are watching my videos, I was just, I'm still happy with that. I just want to get my creative flow out there and have an outlook, 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 is that what it's called? Just have something there to help me with um, maybe my career in the future. Um, that's basically it. Um, I just kind of wanted, yeah. You, you get the point. Um, how many siblings do you have? So I have an older sister and a younger brother, so that makes me the middle child. My sister is 35, um, I'm 21, and then my younger brother is 18. Obviously my sister is a lot older than me. Um, my parents had her for pretty young and then they waited a while before they had my brother and I, but we're all super, super close. I love them so, so much. I don't know what I'd do without them. Okay, advice for someone who wants to start YouTube, just do it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think, like, don't even care about if people are going to judge you or you don't even do this right. Um, like, you'll learn eventually and you'll have your own kind of flow. Just do it. Don't let anything stop you. Like, just, just do it. Even if you don't have the right equipment, like, everybody has an iPhone. Like, an iPhone, like, films amazing. So, like... If you just have your iPhone, just film with that. Trust me, it'll be fine. Just do it. Don't think anything of it. Just just do it. Favorite look you've ever done? Ooh, that's a hard one. I gotta go through my Instagram to see which one is my favorite. I have a couple of favorites, but my, like my favorite, favorite look that I've ever done? Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like all the looks I do are my favorite because I put stuff out that I like, you know? Um, really love this look that I did. And I really like this look because when I did that look, that's kind of when my um, YouTube and my Instagram started blowing up. I mean, I'm not like crazy anything or whatever, but that's when I started to get a lot more followers and started to get noticed more. So that look kind of has like a special place in my heart because that's when I started to grow and I really got into the whole YouTube thing. But another look that I really, really like is... Where is it? Um, this look. This was the Jaclyn Hill look that I did, um, the Jaclyn Hill palette that I used. I really like this look too because I used a lot of colors. And you guys know I always stick with like neutrals. Um, I never use color. So this was a big step out of my comfort zone. Um, so yeah, I think those two are like my favorite. What is your favorite TV slash Netflix show? Um, I don't really watch TV as much. Um, I honestly never have time to watch TV. Only time I do watch TV is like 11 at night when I'm getting ready to sleep and I'm just watching whatever's on, mostly Spongebob. Um, I usually just watch Netflix a lot. Um, so I watch, I love Friends, The Office, um, Black Mirror is really good. I've recently got into Dexter, which is really, really, really good. Um, yeah, I would say that those four friends um the office the office is so funny if you've never watched the office go watch it so friends the office black mirror and dexter 
All right, so next question, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two puppies. Well, they're not puppies, they're six years old, but they're always gonna be my puppies. Um, I have two Shih Tzus, they're both boys, um, Rio and Leo. Those are my little babies, they are my babies? I wish they were here, but they're not, so. I mean, they're, they're here, they're just not in my room. <laughs> okay, um, how tall are you? I'm very, very short. I am five. That made no sense. <laughs> I'm five feet tall. Um, a lot of people think, like, in, like when I just take selfies or like obviously in my videos, that I am a lot taller. But you are mistaken. I am very, very short. Only five feet tall. Borderline midget. Um, sometimes I hate being super short, um, but other times I love it because I can wear heels a lot. So, yeah, there's that. So, next question is... How many best friends do you have? I would say like four best friends. So I have Alicia, Daniela, Emily, and Jessica. Jessica is actually my cousin, but we're very, very close. She's practically like my best friend. And then I have Alicia, who I met in high school. Daniela, I've known since third grade. That girl's basically like my sister. Um, they're all like my sisters, honestly. Um, so yeah, so, and then Emily, I met about a year ago. Um, we've always had each other on social media and then we just got really close and whatever and now she's like my best friend. So I have four best friends. I do anything for those hoes. <laughs> They're the four people that I tell literally everything to. Screenshots, messages, everything, anything that's going on, they know everything. So I love those, I love those girls so much. <laughs> um, tea or coffee, neither. I, don't, I can't stand coffee, I don't like coffee, and I don't like tea either. So, i probably just stick to water, Coke, and my strawberry acai refresher. What sports do you play or have you played? Um, I used to play soccer, um, and I used to do gymnastics when I was younger. I did gymnastics from 3rd grade till 8th grade. Um, yeah, and then once I started high school, I stopped. Um, and then I started playing soccer. Um, I miss playing soccer so much though. I loved soccer and I was so fit and skinny. <sighs> but um, I just don't have time or the energy to do any of the sports right now, so. Um, bad habits. Ugh, a really bad habit that I do have is like biting my nails. I mean, my nails are pretty cute right now. Um, these are like the longest I've ever had my nails before, like my natural nails. But I tend to pick like my cuticles so then my nails look like really ugly and I fucking hate that. Um, I try to stop but I, I just can't. It's really bad. So like if I'm not biting my nails, I'm like picking at my cuticles. Are you single or taken? <laughs> I am single. Um, I know you guys have seen my ex in the past and like in videos and in my social media but um we are no longer together it's been a while since we've broken up um i'm yeah it's just we're not together so as of right now i'm single um i may or may not be talking to someone but <laughs> we'll just keep that <laughs> next question okay so next question is what's your favorite part about working at sephora um, if you guys don't know, I've been working at Sephora for about a little over a year now, um, like a year and two months, um, which is a long ass time, but it feels super, super short. I feel like I just started working there. Um, I love my job so much. I love the people I work with. I love the environment that I am, I'm in. Like, I just love my job so much. I know I complain sometimes, but honestly, it's mostly because of the clients because they annoy me sometimes, but that's besides the point. Um, <clears throat> my favorite thing about working at Sephora, I mean, we get free makeup, so that's pretty lit. Um, I don't know, I just, I, I've always wanted to work in Sephora and I've always wanted to have a job in like makeup and beauty industry, so I feel like that's like the perfect job for me. I get to help people with makeup and like transform faces and you know, all of that and like I'm around makeup 24 7 so and I get to see all the launches and see all the stuff and like I just I I can't pick like a favorite thing because I just there's like a lot of things that I like um 
and I just love working there. Okay, um, next question is, why did you stop YouTube? <sighs> this is, I'm, I'm going to try to keep this nice and short. Um, so the last time I filmed a, filmed a video, I want to say August? I honestly don't remember when the last time. No, it was like September, I think. Yeah, I think it was September. Um, well, one reason is because I was going through a breakup um, around that time. So that kind of just took my mind on a whole different level. So I really wasn't on the, in the right state of mind to be filming the videos. Um, also because I felt like I was very uninspired. I had no looks in mind. I didn't want to film at all. I kind of found it like, like oh, like why do I need to film right now? I, I really don't want to do this. Um, and also because lately I was feeling like the YouTube beauty community was getting very um, competitive and not a lot of people wanted to support each other and everyone wanted to be better than each other and there was just a lot of drama going on and I was honestly so over it. I didn't want to have anything to do with it um, and it kind of took, it made me kind of hate YouTube where I wanted nothing to do with it at all. Um, I said that a lot. <laughs> But yeah, um, it was just a time period in my life where I was just not in the right state of mind to be doing YouTube and I was just over everything. I wanted nothing to do with like anything YouTube. Like I unfollowed like so many um, bigger YouTubes. Like that's how done I was. Like I just, I wanted nothing to do with them. Um, so like when people like talk about like the YouTubers and the YouTubers. So when people talk about like um, like the big YouTubers, I honestly have no idea what they're talking about because I don't follow them. So sometimes I'm a little lost. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I stopped filming. But in 2018, I want to get on my A game and I want to start again. Um, um, I miss filming a lot. It gets my mind off of things and it gives me something to do. It gives me a purpose. So I just, I really want to get back into it and... I want to stop taking these breaks because I feel like when I take these breaks, like, I don't know, like, it's, I just don't want to take breaks, like, I want to keep going, even if, like, there's a rough time in my life, like, I don't want that to stop me, I just want to keep going because there's always going to be challenges and there's always going to be people, like, trying to be better than you and, like, um, competitive and there's always going to be haters and all that and I kind of just have to get used to that. So yeah, I just want to come back strong for 2018 and I really want to put my all into um, YouTube um, because I feel like I haven't been and I just, I put so much effort into this and I just don't want it to be a waste. So I'm just going to get back to it. Um, so I hope that answered your question. <laughs> Next question is, where are you from? Um, well, I already told you that I'm Paraguayan, so I'm going to take that as like where I live. Um, I live in New York. I live in the New York. I live in New York, my favorite place in the whole wide world. Um, more specifically, I live in the Bronx. Um, so your girl's hood, not really kind of, but anyways, yeah, so I live in the Bronx. Um, it's not bad at here. I know everyone's like, oh my god, that's so ghetto. It's not ghetto. Like, there's ghetto parts on every area, so I love living in the Bronx. Um, but if I had to choose, I'd probably live in Queens because there's just a little more diversity in Queens um, and I feel like there's a lot more to do in Queens and I'm always in Queens anyways so yeah all right guys so those were all the questions that you asked or that you guys wanted to know about me I hope that was enough to get to know me a little better um, if not go ahead and feel free to ask me more questions in the comments down below and I will answer for them I will I will answer them for you or on social media whatever floats your boat um, did you guys notice that my hair got longer though since I last film? <laughs> I'm trying to grow it out actually, so I want it to be like my lower back. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to be back. I really missed filming. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. Um, I will try to post as often as I can and as frequently as I can, um, because I do work a lot, so... Bear with me for now. It might be a little slow at first, but I will start to get in the swing of things. Um, thank you so much for everyone who has supported me throughout my journey and have always have always been there for me, even when I stopped filming. I love you guys 
so so much for that um and yeah so just just bear with me for now while i get the swing into the swing of things and start getting used to filming again because it has been a while so so yeah thank you so much for watching guys make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't already um it's free so you can just go hit subscribe help your girl out <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for watching guys i love you so much and i will see you in my next video